Oh, y'all don't have to go. Well, we make this short. Kelvin, um, at times shots weren't falling, but but you guys were able to 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 win the game, Joseph. This is not a funeral house. We are twenty five and three and twelve and three. This time of year, the last thing you do is evaluate them. Um, first of all, let's give some credit to uh, um, Wes and his bunch. You know, they're they're a tough matchup. You know. Uh, every time we've uh, played them, it's been a tough matchup. Um, you know, they're seven foot, six eleven, six eleven, six eight, six six, six six. Uh, their size is a factor. Now we've had success, but uh, they're a tougher matchup for us some than some other schools that may be rated higher because of their defense and their rebounding. They're a really good defensive team, and they're a really good. Uh, uh, rebounding team. But that being said, with 17, around 17 minutes left in the game, we're up 17. You know, I mean, with three minutes to go in the game, three something, we're up 13. Um, but uh, if, if you'd asked me before the game what what is my biggest concern, my biggest concern was uh, the emotional high of Texas, uh, the emotional high two nights, three nights later of Iowa State, and then again against Baylor. These kids are human beings. I could tell in shoot around today, we just didn't have a lot of pop. Um, our, ki our kids are, I, I don't think it's the physical exhaustion, it's the mental, emotional uh, of, of, of going through what they just went through. Uh, and I was worried about that in this, um, this game, but I thought we came out great. We're certainly prepared. We went, we went up. Um, I think uh, what was our, I don't remember what our biggest lead was the first half, but uh, 12. twelve. So we're up twelve. Uh, our defense was outstanding. Uh, was was awesome. We just couldn't make shots. You know, I think Maul was. I think we had our three of our four guards at halftime was uh, two for two or yeah maybe three for seventeen. <laughs> you know, uh, all the shots that. Um, uh, Malls made, uh, say, the Texas Tech game or the Iowa State game, you know, they just didn't fall tonight. But we kept guarding. And uh, um, so look forward to getting some bodies rested, getting some minds rested, getting some injured guys treatment, and getting back ready to go uh, Thursday so we can play Saturday. Kevin, off of that, down, uh, down the stretch when they got within six, all the things that you mentioned, was, was that a factor or did you see things that allowed them? I don't them? know. I'll have to look at it. I mean, uh, we made some stupid plays, you know. Um, we just made some plays that were trying to get the game over instead of making the right play. I mean, they were trapping, which means, means that they were uh, out of position. Look how many times we got the ball to Jay one at the free throw line, which is where we want to get the ball. And then we're two on one. We got one guy in between two. Twice we threw it to him instead of throwing it to the rim or making the right play. We just made some boneheaded plays there. That's all it was. You can't, you can't uh, do that. But uh, um, I mean, we can sit in here and talk about our ne negative stuff all you want. Did we not win? I was just wondering. Okay, just just double check it. Yeah. Kelvin, uh, JVA's ability to disrupt on, on defense and move lat laterally, I mean, how, how big is that for you guys, you know, defense? He's always been good at that, uh, Chris. Um, his athleticism had to grow with his experience. You know, JVA didn't grow up four, five, six, seven years old playing basketball like a lot of kids, you know. Um, he didn't start playing until later. And so his coordination, his um, uh, confidence, uh, being comfortable in a role was always going to be slower than someone else. But, uh, but that's why we made a commitment to Javier. You know, we, we thought that uh, if he doesn't play this year, then when is he going to play? You know, and we saw enough in him to know. But if we could get him to uh, January, we thought he was going to be pretty good. We thought there'd be some growing pains in November, maybe even some in uh, and now. Um, 
Um, and what are we, 25 and three? First place in the Big 12, and he's our starting center. He's a big reason why. Going back, Jamal, they, they kind of beat you up today, but you stayed composed. You kept your team composed. Talk about what you kind of told the guys, even though things wasn't going right early, but y'all were defending and locking down. You know, we were used to beating each other up in practice. So um, that was just a physical physical game. And, you know, there's a lot of physical games in the Big 12. We had a quick turnaround from Baylor. Um, I think everybody's head was in the right place. Like Coach said, we just made a lot of dumb mistakes that we're not used to making. So, um, you know, we fought back. We got a dub. And um, we're happy that we got a win. And we're just trying to move on to the next one. Kelvin, you guys have obviously accomplished a lot in the last five, six years. Have you started to think about what winning a Big 12 title would just mean for this program? No. Mm -mm. I mean, do you want me to expound on that or just yes or no? No, I haven't thought about that. Uh, it's, a, it's a grind, man. The highs and lows of the season. Uh, um, you know, I was thinking today, um, you know, when I was drawing up some things that I wanted to do tonight, how great it would have to be to have the guy that we had uh, from uh, June until December, Terrence Arsenault. Be nice to have Terrence. Um, and then the guy that replaced Terrence, Ramon Walker. Be really nice to have Ramon. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. You know, we've got to figure some things out. You know, uh, J1, you know, still nursing the knee. Um, you can tell he didn't have his normal pop tonight. Uh, JVA got tired, but JoJo, uh, you know, has got a right ankle issue. So we're just beat up. That's why I, I said that to Joseph. Joseph asked me about this player or that play. I'm more worried about my roster right now than I am about a turnover. Uh, and uh, how much do we win by? Win by eight. Um, some benign turnover at the end of the game when, that we won by eight. I could care less right now. I'm more worried about my roster. Feelings was scoreless till like the last five or six minutes. Was was he an emphasis this time around? No, I don't think that had to do with anything other than just the way we normally play. I think he deserves the credit for continuing to play hard. Um, Give him credit for that. You know, our, our, our kids got up 17, then we get up 13. Uh, some of our guys just stopped playing. He didn't. He, he deserves credit for that. So did Lot. I know Lot has struggled. Lockin, I'm sorry. I was thinking about my guy said. But uh, Lockin, uh, I, I know he struggled a little bit this year. I thought he was great tonight. Um, you know, we, we were beaten on Cincinnati for most of the night. And then we stopped. But here, here's where I would be proud if I was Wes's team. Um, they didn't stop. You know, uh, they, they kept playing hard. And I think that's something to hang your hat on. So uh, I might have been a little bit disappointed in my team the last two or three minutes. But uh, if I'm Wes, I'm really, really, um, and that's what I'm talking about in that locker room and tomorrow uh, when we practice or whenever we meet again, is that that's something to be proud of. You know, we've, we've won. Uh, the amount we've won at here because of that, because of our, our culture uh, over the years. And um, I know that um, Cincinnati has had very similar culture and very similar success over the years, too. Got time for a few more. We'll go to the back to Terrence, please. Hey, Jamal, this is for you. Um, what does it say about, your, about this team, I mean, to be able to kind of win these type of grind, grinding type games? And how does this perhaps prepare you guys for you know, what's to come down the road? Um, you know, the beginning of the season, um, LJ went through a slump. Um, Emmanuel's gone through a slump. J1, now it's me a little bit. I think our biggest attribute to each other is each other. Um, we overcome each other by just, you know, keep continue playing hard um, and just taking up for one, of, one another. You know, LJ had a really good night tonight, and uh, he took up a lot for me. So, um I think just us continuing to help one another when one is down 
think that's just our biggest attribute going forward, and that's just how we're going to keep keep going here in March. Jamal, when your shot's not falling, uh, just how do you go about, you know, still impacting the game and, and impacting winning? I try to be the best defensive player on the floor. And um, I have a lot of guys that can score around me. Um, like I said, LJ had a really good night. Tried to find him a lot. Found Eman a couple times, found Juan a couple times. Um, you know, my shot's not falling, but I'm not the offense. You know, we have four other guys out there. So just try to get them involved and then try to be the best I can on defense. Kelvin, second game without Ramon, but perhaps not the, the best game in terms of yeah. how you wanted to sub and stuff. But in practice, have you sort of started to figure well, we, out we, how you – I mean, we beat Baylor without him on the right, road. Right, right. So the obviously that's a glimpse into what we can be. Um, um, I just think the uh, – uh, if you were to ask Wes, he would say – I mean, I mean, they don't have anybody out with injuries, so he's got great depth. But uh, I bet some of his guys are banged up, though. Um, you know, our issue is we lost two guys for the year. That's that's uh, you know, that's happened around here, you know, before. But nobody makes excuses about that stuff. We're certainly not going to hang our heads. We're just going to figure it out. You know, I mean, we, we're uh, we got three games left. Um, it's like Adam said, we we got a chance, and that's all it is. We have a chance to win the Big Twelve. And so that's that's our goal, you know. We'd like to win the Big 12 because we have a chance. You know, most teams don't have a chance, but there's some that do. Uh, we're one of them. Um, but um, I know the training room will be really, really busy tomorrow. You know, uh, thank God we got one of the better trainers in the country, um, and also one of the better um, sports performance coaches in um, John Houston and Alan Bishop. Um, but we'll get our, our guys right. This has been a tough stretch emotionally, you know. Uh, beating Texas, uh, beating Iowa State, winning at Baylor, and then with a short turnaround coming here uh, tonight. That's, that's a tough stretch for anybody. But I'm proud of our guys. I'm really, really proud of them. I'm, uh, I might uh, fuss and cuss at them sometime. But, um, you know, we're 12-3 and three in the Big 12, and uh, we've got a big one on Saturday. Did you say JoJo with an ankle? Yeah, Jay, JoJo, I think it's his right ankle. Yeah. Jamal, thank you very much for your time. All right.